Union. She's sales director at Nielsen Book, who compiled those figures. So, Hazel, good evening to you. Hi. 20, two, why is 2017 slightly down on last year? Well, I think really, if we look at the longer term trend, we can see that we're, we're in a really great position compared with five years ago, up an extra £35 million worth of spend that people are putting into their books this year. And it was really that 2016 was just a phenomenal success. Loads happened in 2016. It was the return of Harry Potter after 10 years. Of course, yeah. um, We had a lot of the parody books were doing really well. Oh, the and, Lady Bird ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah they, were, yeah, they were really successful. And so it's not so much that we're down on last year, which we are, it's a fact, but really um, last year was so phenomenal. The fact that if we look at the year-to-date values compared with last year, we're pretty much flat on value, which is great. OK, well, let's have a look at some of the Christmas bestsellers. Number one is Bad Dad by David Williams, which has sold more than 60,000 copies during the last four weeks. That's just ahead of Jamie Oliver's latest cookery book and an old Christmas stalwart, the Guinness Book of Records. I can tell you, you'll be getting at least one of those for my kids, but in case they're watching, I better not say which one. But a cookery book, a, a posh quiz book, which is also in the top ten, and yep. the, the latest... Shades of Grey or whatever it is, yes. bad sex. I mean, what does this say about the British book reading public? Well, I just think it shows how varied it is. I mean, every year we have children's fiction that does really well, which is great. People are buying books for children at Christmas, and that's what we want. Every year we have non-fiction, because non-fiction is a great gift. It's hardback, it's colourful, it's lovely. But what's really encouraging for the book market is this year we've got two fiction titles in there. You mentioned Darker, yeah. so that's the return of E.L. James' title, and also um, Origin from Dan Brown. So these are both popular authors, but the fact that we've got fiction in the top ten which is the first time for five years, the last one was Bridget Jones in 2013, um, is really encouraging that people are buying physical fiction. It's not all e-book, because e-book really hit fiction hard in terms of physical. I mean, David Williams is an absolute phenomenon, is really he? Is. How, I mean, this book, how does it compare with some of his previous ones? Well, so David Williams was number one last year with The Midnight Gang, and actually in the Christmas week it sold more, but year-to-date, since released, Bad Dad has sold a good 10,000 more than The Midnight Gang last year. So David Williams and children's appetite for funny fiction is just going from strength to strength. How important is Christmas for booksellers? It's, I mean, it's a key time because it is a time of um, people buying gifts for people and books are such an amazing gift. And so if we look at the overall revenue for the year, the kind of four-week Christmas period accounts for nearly a fifth of the whole Goodness. period. And, and that goes up for non-fiction again. So it's, it's so important. And actually, the Christmas week sells 100,000 more ISBNs, that's individual different types of books, in the Christmas week than the rest of the year. So we're buying more varied product at this time as well. And very briefly, Hazel, I mean, yeah. is this comparable in any way to the cinemas? So do the publishers always put their big blockbusters out for the Christmas holidays, rather like we saw Disney do last Last week with Star Wars? We have a, a start to Christmas in the book world called Super Thursday and it's in October and that's when we release more books and it almost starts, right, Christmas is ready, go out and buy these great offerings we've got for you. All right, Hazel Canyon for Nielsen Book, good to see you, thanks for joining me. Thank you.